Welcome back to Back Talk Teen. We are here with, <coughs> excuse me, President and CEO Amanda Mills, as well as Vice President Tara Greco of Entertainment. Uh, so let's start out. What is entertainment? What is inter <laughs> What would That's you a good say? Question. Entertainment <laughs> is a magazine and a website written by teens for teens, um, and they get scholarships in return for the editorial contributions. And we host events, and um, we're filming a new television show. So it's teen media. Basically, I think you guys know a little something about that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> maybe, maybe. Uh, what is this television show you guys have? Um, it's called Sound Off. So it's a teen vocal competition, but the focus uh -huh. is on development. So as opposed to an American Idol where you're standing on stage week after week singing um, songs, the focus is more on what it actually takes to earn an audience that size. Yeah, so. that's awesome. Yeah. Um, so besides that, what else do you guys have in store for entertainment? Like other other events, other projects coming up mm -hmm. for the website? Um, well, coming right up, actually on Sunday, November 18th, we have um, an event coming up at the Prudential uh, hosted by Microsoft. And we're going to be at the store. We start off with uh, a dance challenge at noon. And so teams can compete in um, groups of two or four. And uh, then at 2 o'clock, 1.30, excuse me, we have a performance by BCAP, uh, Shea Rose, Maystar, and um, the cast of Sound Off will be performing as well. Nice. And um, then those who won the earlier dance-offs will be able to go up against BCAP and his backup dancers uh, for four premium pi prize packages. And we're giving away 300 free swag bags. So. Swag bags. Nice. I, like yeah. uh, yeah. I like the sound of that. So, um, with entertainment online, what is like? What's it? What are people really liking to go and look, look at? You know, read about on entertainment. Is there anything that's really popular mm. with it? Um, I think most popular this year was our comic book column. Um, mm. It was new. It was something that was mm. added per um, a suggestion um, from the team columnist who took it over. Um, but it's. A little bit of everything, and in 2013, we're up to I think 23 different topics um, that are teen-related. So um, we're kind of getting away from the model of you know like boys like this or girls like that, or into you know people like. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I know you mentioned uh, you, you mentioned so many forms of different medias of entertainment, mm -hmm. and this might be a very broad question, but what do you guys define as entertainment? Running a company based on entertainment. Mm. In terms of content, well, it can cover everything, obviously, as Amanda said. So we're having teens write about topics that they care about, they're passionate about, and in some ways they're experts. So it can be fashion, it can be music, but some of the new things are sort of eco, green, you know, even in the sciences. So it depends on what it is. So is it online? So they're writing online, they're blogging online, they're posting stuff on Facebook. Mm -hmm. We're going to be doing, you know, live events. So it's really any form of media, both before you know, in front of the camera, and in some instances a little bit behind, if nothing else, behind being the scribe and really sharing, you know, so it covers everything, really, you know, trying to touch kids where they live and eat and breathe and, you know, what excites them, so. How does, media. sorry, how does, say, like a teen get involved and become a writer mm -hmm. and contribute? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, it's super easy. You just go to our homepage at entertainmentonline.com and click write. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just fill in the application That's right there simple. online. It's super simple. Thanks. And, um, so how, d how often does um, the stories and things that people write get updated? Like, mm -hmm. is it as soon as they hit submit? Mm -hmm. Or is it, do they have to go through something first? Like a There's new content every single week. So mm -hmm. it gets updated every Friday. There's every Friday. Fresh content. But above and beyond that, we're actually publishing a print version of the magazine. Oh, so okay. that's, mm -hmm. you know, a kickoff in, in conjunction with this great event in Boston is actually having a print version of, of the magazine. So, you know, the intent is to be able to roll that out on a regular basis in 2013. So besides updating current news, can we see how entertainment started? What, how did this idea come about? Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I often ask myself that question. <laughs> um, entertainment, we actually started out as a consumer trade show for teens. So we started out as the prom expo. Um, yeah. So we thought Bridal Expo, Prom Expo, mm, mm -hmm. not so much. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so that's the beauty of, um, of business and growth, and um, you adjust. So our mission was to engage, empower, and entertain teens. And it didn't mean that we needed to do it through that particular medium. So the part of the um, site that was taking off was the part that was written by teens. And it, we just had a few teens blogging about like where to eat and what to wear for prom. and so. We switched over to 
to media and content. Wow, mm -hmm. that's so cool. How did you two get into uh, entertainment in general? Like, for, did it start in your childhood and plays or? Oh, well for me, yes. Um, I started modeling when I was eight um, and I, I think my career started winding down around maybe 18 or 19, so 10 year run. Um, I did some acting. I performed at the City Center here in Boston. Nice. Um, and some covers have been in Vogue. So, um, nice. and then I ended up nice. being a producer for the Miss Universe organization which led me to the Prom Expo, which led me here. So, <laughs> so much, so much. Nice. Yeah. What about you, Tara? So my background um, in marketing has been in brand marketing. So I've worked for you know Mattel, Crayola, Atari, um, Turbine, which is now a Warner Brothers um, property, and other entertainment properties. So I'm really all about like what makes kids get excited. So are they excited about toys? Are they excited about software? Are they excited about games? You know, online, you know, destinations. So it's really that you know I've had fabulous fun doing work for or with kids. So, nice. no complaints. <laughs> <laughs> so, your website is entertainment. It's focused on teens. Why did you did you choose to make it focus on teens because that was the part of it that was taking off or was there another reason that's all about teens? Um, for me, I just felt like it was I enjoyed working with teens, um, especially when I was part of the Miss Universe organization, but I wanted to work with them in my own way. Mm -hmm. I just felt like it was such a crucial time in life. It was for me. Um, and so to have the opportunity to work with young people when they're starting to really explore and discover their own talents and appreciate themselves and their peers and mm -hmm. form their opinions about the world around them, I thought that was a really great time to, to be involved. Get so. it started, yeah. That's awesome. That's uh, is there anything current that you guys are interested in that like you know about? Like I heard we were talking about the Bond movie. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have an opinion maybe on that? Um, well, I haven't seen the movie, so we were <laughs> trying to it. deter you from you have giving a away the Bond. Oh, I, I mean, I like I loved Casino Royale. So I mean, I it's not that he's my favorite, okay. but um, I because it's new, you know, relatively new, and I like mm -hmm. his character and I like the direction that the the story's going, so I'm actually very excited, but I don't want you to tell me too much about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll go on Saturday and, and yeah, yeah, find out for myself. So, um, but in terms of other stuff that's going on in media, I mean, I think really it's this great event that um, you know Amanda's organized and has this powerful team behind it. That's mm -hmm. all about you know getting kids both at the event and getting them in front of the stage and inviting them to participate. I mean, it's a great mm -hmm. live challenge. And I think that you don't actually see as much as we'd like here in Boston. But this is something that's really kicking off what Sound Off is all about, which is taking this whole sort of challenge. But how do you develop skills, get them in front, and, and really nurture and encourage them and build their self confidence? So here's just one of many, hopefully, events that we that we launch. You know, not just locally but nationally. So it's, that's really exciting for this team. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, that's do fun. you do you guys have like the same contributors to the to the website often? Like, do the same people keep coming back and contributing? Uh, so there's two ways. Um, yes. So we have our columnists who are experts and they're in charge of their topic. Mm -hmm. So like Chloe covers fashion and that's what she does. And she's been with us for a year and she's already um, joined us for another year. So that's um, and all of the columnists across the board are in charge of their column um, and they're uh, contracted for a year. But there's also an opportunity to do one offs and to share that way. So you can, if you just have one story you wanna share and you don't wanna be involved all year round and it's a big commitment, you can just click the share button and share your story, upload a few, few pics and if we use it, we'll send you your iTunes song of choice. So. Oh, nice, I like that's that. a nice reward. Are there other ways to get involved with entertainment besides just being a contributor? Um, as a kid or as an adult? Well, I mean, again, you know, the sound off is really going mm -hmm. to be a, a, a vocal mm -hmm. competition locally and nationally. So, I mean, that's a great opportunity for, you know, aspiring singers to show their stuff. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I mean, that's a fantastic way, not only then, you know, as Amanda said, is they can also come in and write a story. So, a one off, you know, so that maybe they're at an event or contribute through the blog or, you know, become, uh, you know, sort of an annual teen columnist. So I mean, there are many ways that they can get involved. Obviously, we'd love for teens who want to get involved in the events, too, that are <laughs> behind the scenes, because they get to learn how to host an event, how to work with some really talented people like Mike, who's you know who's a professional producer of music. So there's so many ways that they can learn behind and in front. Just kind of mm -hmm. what your guys are doing is here. Is you're you know you're behind the scenes, but you're bringing the story to the front. You know, right. which mm -hmm. I think is really incredible because yeah. it's all about 
empowering them as much as exciting them. Mm -hmm. fun it stuff is exciting for us. Yeah, I, it I is. would definitely mm -hmm. say so. Definitely. The other thing, too, is that we're really accessible and I'm really open. Um, mm -hmm. My email is out there, my telephone number is mm -hmm. out there. So just call me, email me, and if you feel like there's something that we need to add or something we need to do differently, you know, I think You're teams can be as involved as, as they want to be and they can shape entertainment to be what it ought to be. So. Mm -hmm. I think it's a great idea. I really Aww. do. Me, yeah, Thank me you. too. If, um, if you could tell us one thing about your job that you love, what would it be? Um, oh, wow. <laughs> I know, it's very broad. There are a lot of things that I <laughs> like about what I do. But I think if you make a company, you should probably like what you're doing. Otherwise, yeah, you've yeah. <laughs> done it all wrong. Um, but I probably would say the best part of what I do is when there's a moment when not, I haven't necessarily taught something, but I've created an atmosphere where a team can discover something. And there's that, as Oprah would say, aha moment. <laughs> oh, I gotta love Oprah. <laughs> Who doesn't love Oprah? <laughs> I, <don't. laughs> that's true. That's true. Um, I think that's probably the best part of, of my day is mm -hmm. you know, those moments where they discover something about themselves. Um, and I know that it's, it's a nugget that they're gonna take with them for the rest of their lives. So. Nice. I guess from my perspective, it's giving them a voice mm -hmm. and giving them a voice where you know they're respected and encouraged to share their opinions or expertise on something they love, whether it's, again, fashion or entertainment or music or even in the sciences. I mean, really encouraging to, to speak up and share what their thoughts and opinions are. I mean, I think the other is to give the kids exposure to companies, but more importantly, make companies aware that these kids deserve the time, the attention, and support. So, you know, through a sponsorship, through, you know, Microsoft doing this great thing at their store, I mean, that shows that kids this age group deserve the time and attention, you know, that they deserve because they have great ideas. Mm -hmm. I mean, just like yourselves, yeah. you have great ideas, so mm -hmm. we want to afford you those opportunities, <laughs> and that's what it's all about. Well, it certainly is a great opportunity, and mm -hmm. thank, thank you. you so much for being here. To learn more about entertainment, go to entertainmentonline.com. Uh, for Amanda and Tara, thank you both for coming. Thank, thank you. It's a great opportunity to meet you guys and see what you're doing behind <laughs> the scenes, you. too. <laughs> I'd say we've covered it all from oh, movies yeah. to fashion to celebrity gossip. Everything. <laughs> and for our first time hosts, Larson and Lily, I'm Devin. This is the conclusion to this episode of Backtalk Teen. Thanks for watching.